So the plan for today is to go and unlock the receiver and see where the radio signal takes us. Time to get the raft moving again and start smelting all this metal that we found. Someone also pointed out that I can activate the third person view and <laughs> we look glorious. <laughs> Especially with that shark head. Haha. Oh god. Now that we've got our first metal bar, we can research it and unlock the recipe for the hinge, the bolt, the metal arrows and the grill. We also found a couple of hinges and bolts in those crates, so we can go ahead and research them too, which unlocks the shovel, the metal fishing rod, a net launcher, a metal spear and a scrap hook. An axe, a clock, a stationary anchor, better storage, a tree farm and shears. All of which of course need metal. That's why I've collected more clay and sand, so I can make a couple more wet bricks. And we can hopefully build another smelter soon, cause this really takes a while. Since we are still very dependent on planks, I go ahead and make a large crop plot. And it really is a large crop plot, but with that large crop plot we can plant trees and water them with fresh water and then this should fix our plank problem. Especially if I make another plot. We also can make an advanced grill now, which makes the simple grill completely obsolete and the bricks also dried, so I've got more space here to place the grill. The cool thing about the advanced grill is that it cooks three things at once, so it's three times as efficient. So more planks to smelt more metal. So I filled a bigger chest so I can store more stuff cause my inventory keeps overflowing and the new shark really seems to like our new spear. We also can use the new grill to cook those big fish, so we have lots of new yum yum to enjoy. And I also found this island to explore. Mm, more planks, more coconuts, more everything. Well, I still don't bother to pick up all those flowers. They just waste inventory space for now. At least that's what I think. But we've also got a crate here with ooh, a lot of metal parts. And my inventory is already completely full again. Um, yeah, there's a shark. Well, not that we have food problems. Well, but we've got a bird problem. Well, not anymore. Well, I said we don't have a bird problem. I hope we can one day build a gun to shoot these. Well, and our trees are fully grown, so we can now go and cut those. Right, my axe broke again. But we can already make a metal axe. More durable and faster. Can't wait to deforest more islands. So we've got a bunch of coconuts, but not a bunch of seeds. That's kind of the problem with planting trees and raft. You don't always get your seed back, so... So that's why we have to keep deforesting new islands. So I've already smelted all the metal that we have, so I'll just go and keep collecting more resources, cause that's what we always do. Oh, clams, yeah, I already forgot. Well, I've already picked up about everything that I could, so... There wasn't a lot on this island. So we'll lift our anchor and... Well, let's hope we find another island soon and that the shark won't annoy us anymore. All I found on that island was three metal ore. Wow, that's really bad. Well, I can build another smelter, but I don't really have any metal to put in there. So I guess it's time to smelt copper now. And I also forgot to research seaweed. Speaking of seaweed, we can also smelt seaweed. And if we smelt that seaweed, we get vine goo, which we can research as well, which unlocks us the empty bottle, a basic bow, some sweet net, flippers, a cooking pot, well, and that was pretty much it. Well, this time I at least got one mango seed back. I've also got the resources for a scrap hook lying around. So the scrap hook is basically better in every way. It's faster, we can throw it faster, and it comes back faster. We can also research the copper ingots, thus unlocking us the battery and the circuit board. I made another chest, cause I've always got way too much stuff on me. And I found a whole nother island to explore. Or rather exploit, but that's kind of the same thing, you know. Ah, more palm seeds, exactly what I need. Why is this brown thing sticking out of this rock? Do I need a shovel to pick it up? I just realized that I ran out of scrap. Well, so let's make a shovel. This shovel is way more crappy than I expected. Well, there's just sand. Where can I find dirt? Well, not even on these islands. I mean, how does even grass grow on those rocks without dirt? This makes no sense. Like, there's seriously just grass on rocks. Well, I kind of expected the shovel to be useless for now. But, well, we aren't here to shovel stuff. We are here to mine metal and stuff. That's so much faster with the scrapbook. 
Just see how fast it is all of a sudden. So yeah, the more you grind, the easier gets the grind. But the more you also need to grind. What is the Chuck doing here? It's not even close to my raft. Oh my god, those reflexes. Whew. Well, but if he's not around my raft, we can pick stuff up around my raft. Um, well, he's around my raft. Ah, oh, god dang it. I still haven't... Well, I found one piece of scrap so far. And I don't even remember picking it up. Well, this island is kind of crap and the shark is annoying me, so... Yeah, did I already mention that the shark is annoying me? At least we've got seven metal and seven copper. So that's something, I guess. And time to pick up our anchor and leave this goddamn place. And yeah, that's not really intended, but... As long as we keep moving, everything's alright. Well, at least we can make a stationary anchor now. And for that thingy, we need basically a hole in our raft so we can place it. And now I don't have to craft an anchor every time we want to go on an island. So, with all that wine goo, I can make an empty bottle. And I can put a lot of wa- Well, if I had a lot of water, like salt water, as you can see, I can put more than- Yeah, I can put more than one water into a bottle. So, with wine goo and copper ingots and plastic, I can make a circuit board, research that circuit board, and now we can build an antenna, a sprinkler to water our crops automatically, and a receiver. And sadly, those antennas require a lot of scrap. Well, looks like I can at least get to this one raft there. Well, and this is a great opportunity to use a new anchor. Oh no! Oh, the stupid nets require nails. Well, at least we've got whoop, a bunch of new scrap metal. Well, I guess one or two. And a recipe for a simple fish stew. So if I were to craft a cooking pot, I could now make a simple fish stew. Well, and since I currently have nothing better to do, I might just as well do that. And I can't seem to find another island. Well, I think I once heard that birds are always near islands. So if there are birds all over our raft, um, an island is probably very near. So, with this very important oh my god, this cooking pot is huge. Not that I planned very much ahead with my layout of my raft. I think I can now use that recipe and... Yay, put it in there. Nice. Well, I think I can make a fishing rod. <gasps> Island! Well, I don't think I need that fishing rod any anymore. Just gonna throw a bunch of useless stuff in there. And we've got no palm seed bag, so... Well, we are out of tree seeds again. Well, I already can see scrap metal from here, so yay! More tree seeds, yay! And that pretty much was it. Yeah, there's not a whole lot on those islands. Well, at one point it's just ridiculous how much food you've got. Alright, let's find some scrap metal. And there's a lot of scrap metal. Oh my god, there's so much scrap metal. Ooh, what a nice island. Well, so far I found 20 scrap metal on that island, but if the chuck would go away, I could get even more. So, we've got to kill the chuck again. Oh god, this is a really bad idea. Especially if we do this like this. Well, alternatively, I could make a metal fishing rod and catch a few fish. Hey, I've fish the lucky cat? What the... Uh, might bring you some happiness? <gasps> hey, we can place a cat on our, <laughs> on our raft! That is amazing! I think I should go fishing more often. Oh, It's a cute cat! For the Gomi, the shark is, he only likes certain kind of fish. So... Well, I've not been really lucky with those fish so far. <laughs> Well, maybe I should just go and kill the shark the old-fashioned way. Wow, a catfish. Man, that can't be too difficult. Another... Go! Well, and I thought the lucky cat was supposed to bring me luck. Finally! Alright, so... If we use the shark bait and throw it somewhere on the water, like there... Then the shark will swim to the shark bait. And we can do this. And I think we've got him. Nice. For some reason we can't pick the bait up again, and for some reason the bait has four fish, although I put only two fish in there, which makes no sense at all, but it works, and that's all that counts, really. Um, well, at least I found more scrap. Yep, that was definitely worth it for all that scrap. Alright, I've got all the scrap there was. Wow, we actually won one seed this time. Well, and I can't sit while fishing. And I only seem to catch those mackerel. Oh my god, yeah, I should have cleared those a long time ago. Haha, -ha, we've got finally enough fish. 
place raw pump thread, place raw herring, let's place some raw beets, place plank, start cooking. Oh. Okay, why does the freaking shark keep destroying my collection nets? This really annoys me. Well, and we can actually place foundation armors for one metal and two nails, and I can actually fortify those collection nets. So they should now be imshakable. Well, at least that's what I hope. Well, let's place those wet bricks next to the fire and hope this does anything. But it probably does nothing. So I guess I should get started crafting those receivers and antennas. So we already got the receiver. So we need three antennas. Well, the soup is ready, but we can't pick it up. Right, I forgot to research clay. So if we research clay, we can unlock the clay bowl. Now if I were to craft the clay bowl, I can actually pick up that stew. Nice. Well, that's not very close to that island, but I guess that's about as close as we can get to it. So, drop the anchor. Yeah, and prepare to explore that island. Oh, well, and we can actually make one, two, three antennas. Time to explore that island, which is pretty far away. And that's really a problem because the shark um, has a long, long way uh, to get us. But... He actually... Oh, I forgot to drink water. Oh, no. Now we are pretty slow because I'm pretty much dehydrated and I forgot to drink water. And the shark keeps chasing us and... That we are almost dead. Um, well, so... I guess we can screw that island. I'm sure we'll find another one. So, now we need wooden walls. Wait, what am I doing? Well, speaking of more islands to explore, there's already another one. So, I'm going to place a few wood walls here. So, I can't place a ladder onto a wood wall. Which, of course, makes sense. Wood floor on top of here. And now we can drop the anchor and explore this island. So, now I can put the receiver up here because we need to place a receiver on top of something. Now I just need a battery and three antennas and those antennas need to be one block above the base layer as well. Well at least there are some trees on that island and more tree seeds and of course more scrap metal. Well and another one of these crates. Well that was a good island, 28 scrap metal. Oh we can now make a fish stew and all right we can place one antenna there. Oh yeah and I really should make a battery. All right we've got a battery and if we put that battery into the receiver and turn that thing on we can see that antenna one works so now i just need to place two more antennas and antenna number two oh there's actually an island and a shark god dang it well i'm slowly t running out of planks but the last thing for the last antenna is done so now if i were to throw that thing on we actually have a signal. Apparently we only need to travel for 1500 meters in one direction and then we find something. And that's exactly what I wanted to find out today. Because I don't know what exactly is there. We should also remember to turn this thing off because um, the battery can die and then I have to make a new one. So I could swim that distance and get that loot but then the shark would bite me a bit. But I guess that's how it is. Oh course. <coughs> That's also right where the shark is. And I don't even think it was worth it. Yep, the shark is coming for us again. Well, or not really, because he doesn't seem to care right now. Well, not that I mind. Well, the anchor is going way, way down. So we need to go more into this direction. Ah, vegetable soup. Wow, this is actually a useful recipe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about this dead bird. Man, I've got so much food. Well, let's take the time to build a few more foundation armors so I can fortify more of my collectors. And I think all those collectors are now fortified. Yay. Only 1000 whatever that distance is left. Wow, I found an old shoe. And the thing about the old shoe is that we can actually use this thing to plant crops in. Well, only 460 something to go. 
Well, I guess I can't really hurt the shark in third person. Also making a bird's nest now, cause I have nothing else to do. Well, I don't know, let's put it here, because I don't go often here, I guess. Ah, oh, we found something! Haha! -ha! You see that big glowing thing there? So whole radio station and everything? This thing is so huge, it already makes the game very laggy. So, I've turned the settings down even more and the game already feels much smoother. Wait a second, I'm not sure if we can actually get there, so... I'm just going to make a pedal, just so we can sh be sure that we get there. Because I don't want to swim so far, because I really hate the shark. And I think we are good to go! Another chest sounds good. Alright, let's see what we've got here. So there's a bunch of rocks and a real underwater city with everything. Wow. Uh, briefcase and it was filled with a note. Okay, so there's a bunch of story in this game as well. Uh, crate. Well, and the shark is still trying to get in. Robbie Boat's gun. Bruce is after me. Bruce is the shark, by the way. Ah. Well, that's handy. We don't even need to use the hook to get it. Well, and I can still throw my hook, though. Um, got a shark named him Bruce. I got you, Bruce. Well, Bruce is our only friend here. Apart from our friends dehydration and starvation, Bruce is our best friend. More notes. Okay, if we are careful, then we realize that there's nothing really down here. Except some more scrap, and I'm slowly running out of scrap again, so I take that. Oh yeah, you can see that the quality of the um, game is a bit lower now, but at least it's not laggy now. Um, bunch of scrap stuff, scrap stuff, more scrap stuff, couldn't find a note so far. Oh, a crate that I totally missed with a whole pedal, that's actually very useful. I don't know, pedals are cool. <coughs> well, well played, Bruce. So, this totally not obvious path leads us to the second floor. Where we find more crates with a new recipe. Drumstick with jam. So that's the recipe you need for your jam session. <laughs> we need some berries. Luckily I don't have any berries. Yeah, thank you very much for that recipe. Alright, I'm going to stop punishing you with those puns. Uh, how do we get over there? Du -du -du. Another not totally obvious path. And Tugboat won't be back. Aha. Uh -huh. So what do we have here? Another note. Oh god, I've got to read all of this. Um, aha. Uh -huh. Another totally not obvious path. Well, that actually was a bit hidden. Wow, here's nothing. And up here we go. And now we are actually above the birds. That's pretty interesting. Wait, so... If I time it correctly, can I stab those birds with my spear from here? Ah! Oh, I think I could. Wait, maybe if I sneak up down here, I can actually catch a bird. Yeah, that's about the right height. Ah, uh, I guess, yep, yeah, around here. Okay, come around, bird. And... Ha! I've got him! <laughs> Take that, stupid bird. <laughs> Air strike. Haha. <laughs> Just take my stupid crops, you stupid bird. I still killed your brother. So, Utopia. And another note that we can pick up. Another crate with metal. Wow. Radio, another note. Oh my god. I'm already excited to read all of that. Oh god, so... In theory, we shouldn't survive this jump. And in practice, we do. Cool. Um, but yeah, the shark, of course, said hello once again. Well, I've skimmed over those notes, and basically the gist is there were some reactors, some people worked at those reactors, and I think those reactors overheated, and then, well, somehow the ocean rise because I think it was probably at the North Pole or something like that, and now everything's basically underwater, and there are a few survivors out there, and, and we maybe need to shut down a reactor later or something like that. I don't know. There are a few numbers in these nodes, and I guess I need to find another number so we can find another radio signal. Let's try the easiest one, 3835. That's where we need to go next. Wow. Well, but I guess that's what I'm going to do a different time. And I probably should turn that thing out because I don't want to waste that battery. So, we've now managed to drive all the way over to the radio station. Nice, and now we are on our way to the other radio station. Who knows what we will find there. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, subscribe for more. And 
Yeah, I'm not going to bother with this shark for now. Just enjoy the sun again. And maybe watch some of my other videos.